Hey ballers, it's Horton. I'm sure you can guess what this is all about. It's another new ski. But this is one that I've never seen before the other day when it showed up at my doorstep. So this is a Razor 3. You may remember um, independent ski test I did for Water Ski Magazine, uh, I think back in 2007. Fisher showed up, actually made by Fisher Snow Skis out of Austria, and made a huge splash. But with uh, some economic conditions in Europe, that venture really didn't pan out. and the company became uh, Razor Skis eventually, and it's the same technology, and people love both those skis, and what was unique about them is for the most part, they're the only RTM ski on the market. So in terms of pure durability, um, the belief is RTM is superior. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive, but so that's kind of one of the, uh, one of the big selling points of the Razor is, you get on it and ski on it, you're gonna get a lot of seasons out of it. So that's really, a, you know, it's, a, it's really a high-tech, more high-tech method of manufacturing. In fact, the factory that makes this makes, like, uh, carbon fiber undercarriage parts for uh, Bentleys. And actually, when I visited, they were making parts for the super high-end Audis. So this ski, um, it looks to be a little bit wider than the previous Razor. I don't have a Razor 2 handy to compare it to. And unfortunately, I'm not going to get to ski on this ski, or I mean, I could. But I uh, acquired this through a business deal. So this ski is actually for sale. I'm hoping that Razor eventually supplies me with a review ski. I'm dying to ski on it. It's pretty, it's beautiful. The, the previous Razor really skied good. And if this is an improvement, darn it, I want to ride it. So uh, I guess this is the, uh, the US announcement. This ski exists. I don't know if anybody's aware of it yet. And uh, if you want one, well, I have one, and you can have it, and hopefully we'll see more of them on a lake near you.